What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be going over my half guard hand fighting stuff and how I win my underhooks. Let's hit it. All right guys, so the basic half guard position, when I have this knee shield, my the toes on my foot are hooked. I have a jiu-jitsu foot here, and it's hooking onto his hip. My knee is pointing towards his shoulder. My top hand is pulling his shoulder into my knee for connection. And then my bottom hand can either hold the wrist or it can hold the tricep to also help pull this. Because I really want him connected onto my knee shield here, right? When I want to go for my underhook, I lean my forearm inside my knee and my knee comes up a little bit and I kick and I sit up for my underhand. Okay? So I'm here, I've got him connected to my knee shield. I can push and pull here to help set up this kick through onto this underhand. Okay? This is a very basic. This guy's not moving, this guy's not hand fighting me. And I've got this connection, and I can push and pull, and when I'm ready, I kick through, and I sit up to my underhook, and I'm up on my elbow. More commonly, when I'm in this position, people are trying to do something with this arm. Whether the arm is trying to dig inside for the underhook, or whether the arm is trying to crush on top, trying to get my knee shield down. These are very common things the top person does. So the two things I do from here is, if they're just leaning their arm on top, I go for my arm drag. So right here, I grab the wrist, I kick, and I grab up high, and my kick is gonna be what sits me up. I don't wanna have to do a sit up here. I'm gonna kick my leg and pull to come around the corner, and then finish my arm drag to the back. So I'm here, and the arm is just leaning here. I grab it, and I kick with momentum to sit up, all right? I do not want to do this, and then try to do a sit up, and now I'm gonna like chase around his back. I wanna be here and I wanna kick my momentum up to the arm drag, okay? And now another common thing that happens is when I do this, I did it a little poor and as I'm right here, he starts posturing up and pulling his arm out. When he does that, that's when I shoot in for my underhook. All right, so my failed arm drag led to the underhook. The other common thing that I do, when, especially when people are trying to crush my legs together, is I take this Russian grip, right, where I have a palm facing me and a grip on the tricep, and I kick through with my knee shield. And now this, this is the hard part. Go ahead and sit up real quick. Like, when my knee points this way, he's not loaded onto me, and here I'm gonna load him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick and point my knee up. So to do this, I just slide under him to sweep him with my John Wayne sweep, okay? So while I'm here and I have this Russian grip, I kick my top leg through and I pull myself under and I pinch my knees and I tilt for my sweep, all right? So while I'm here, I have the choice of trying to arm drag and kick, or trying to grab this little Russian and scoot under him, right? I fired my leg underneath him. So now as I pinch my knees together and my heels come to my butt, it loads him and sweeps him over, okay? And the other benefit of this position is as I do this, if this fails and, he, and as I'm doing this, he posts his hand on the mat, there's my underhook and now I'm building up to half guard, playing the underhand battle again. So, both the arm drag and the John Wayne sweep with the Russian, if they fail, they will post their hand on the mat and they'll hand us our underhook, or they'll pull back and they'll hand us the underhook, right? Because the entire battle from half guard, of right here, is trying to fight for this underhook. It's me trying to come around the corner, but as it fails and he pulls back, there's my underhook. I got my original goal anyways, right? And then finally I'm here on the John Wayne and I try to pull and there's the underhook, right? 